Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 5 of this hybrid series. And uh, in this episode, guys, we've got something new to my hybrid series where I've got a subscriber request for a squad, and that was involving three different leagues. And the subscriber sent me the leagues, which were the British Premier League, the Bundesliga, and the Serie A. And this team is kind of expensive. I think it's around 30k, and that's pretty much because of uh, a few players. But uh, at the moment, I've, I'm guaranteeing you guys that the prices of the players will probably fall. Uh, I haven't got Inform Ramis over there, but uh, we start with uh, the upfront, which we involve all three different leagues, which is the Bundesliga with Ros. We're going to have Miroslav Klose, who's our Serie A, and Podolski from the British Premier League, and then I sort of hybrid it throughout the rest of the squad, at the same time keeping a Brazilian side, a Spanish side, and a German side. So uh, you guys will see the, the players' prices over there. They are subject to changing as the market uh, sort of is going through that uh, market crash, and Team of the Year is going to be out this week, I believe. So uh, hopefully you guys will try this team out at least at some point, and have a bit of fun. I put Javi Martinez over there. I could have put Mikel Arteta to add additional chemistry, but I wanted to have that same Bundesliga side. Um, alternative for Ramirez over there, you could put Anderson, as he is much, much cheaper, and he is in the British Premier League. So he'll give you that chemistry as well. you got Pablo Hernandez over there. wanted to try out his inform version. Uh, I think it was 19,000 coins. I was a 5,000 coins short, and I didn't want to swap over coins from another account. So I said, uh, I'll just go with the normal version of Pablo Hernandez. He's actually a really, really good player, so I definitely recommend you guys trying him out. We've got Felipe Santana and David Luiz, as they are very, very overpowered together, and uh, just absolutely close close down any up front even if you got uh, you're versing two strikers they will close them down and we've got the inform Ramis over here and you guys will see why I put him in the squad in just a sec so I definitely recommend you guys go buy him soon as he's in this week's team of the week and at the same time buy the 78 one not the 76 one because he has had a previous one and I went with Diego Alves as uh, he's a very very good goalkeeper in my opinion probably one of the best goalkeepers I put him over Nuwer and Joe Hart in um, in my ranking system of uh, goalkeepers but just show you guys the team without a manager giving me that 91 chemistry I definitely recommend you guys putting a manager on your team as 100 chemistry does absolutely amazing wonders for your team in comparison to without a uh, full 100 chemistry. So uh, we're going to get started things here with a uh, goal from Podolski. And I actually score a really amazing goal at Podolski. You'll see that in just a sec. But three and a bit bars. And this is my penalty technique, which is just to just smash it either side. And uh, it just goes perfectly always. The keepers never even get a chance to save it. But uh, this is, guys, what I want to show you. Podolski making a run. And uh, none of the defenders are closing me down. And then the guy suddenly tries to defend. I'm going to smash it. And that's cannons into the middle of the net against the inform Alvarez, the Argentine goalkeeper. And uh, just unbelievable stuff from Podolski. And that's one thing I wanted to try out with Podolski because I know he's got great power. And I uh, wanted to utilize that uh, shot, that long shot. And look at that. Just dipping nicely. Lovely goal from him. Uh, Pablo Hernandez here. A few step overs. Dragging in. Trying to do the chop. And his defender does not want that to happen. So he tackles me over there. And I get my free kick. And I just want to show you guys their inform Ramis stats. Look at that from a centre back. 99 power. 92 free kick accuracy. And 97 curve. Absolutely amazing on a centre back. And for 10,000 coins. Um, at the same time, you could, well, if you wanted to sell him on. You could probably make a few more coins in the upcoming weeks. So we're going to use his him now. And as you can see here. Two and a bit bars from quite far out. Fairly far out. And he just finishes that perfectly. Keeper gets a hand to it. But still going into the top of the net and uh, not letting him uh, have that but I'll show you guys a replay at the same time because I felt he's a very good player at the same time he's I think he's only got 60 pace but uh, it's nothing to worry about as you've got David Luiz and Felipe Santana helping him at the back so uh, as you can see just getting into the back of the net the 99 power helping and this is against a quite an expensive British Premier League team which had Joe Hart as a goalkeeper and look at this finishing it perfectly as well keeper just getting a slight hand to it but he's not going to save it and uh, that one also goes in the back of the net so we're going to move on from this guys and uh, go into a bit next piece of gameplay we'll just show you guys a bit of a build up play from David Luiz sending it to Close, who always headers the ball because he's got 88 headering and finding um, Podolski who sends it to Rose and Rose going to use his weak foot I think it's four star weak foot and dispatching that into the top corner so a uh, nice stuff from Marcus Rose over there and now we're going to find another through ball to Rose from Podolski and then these two guys were just absolutely crazy up front uh, they work very well together a few step overs getting it in and then chopping it away and going at the near post and finishing it off uh, Rose is very good at that and he's very very sleek with his uh, skills so do try him out I think he's got four star skills but he is amazing so uh, we're going to get another through ball into Rose and using his pace uh, see the goalkeeper coming out and I'm not going to get uh, hesitant just going to try that finesse try to get it over the top and finish off not going to really try the chip because it does uh, have a kind of a time delay with the chip because um, it takes a bit of time going through the air but Podolski now finding closer going on the outside of his foot going for that chip and just absolutely nice stuff from uh, closer there finishing off very nicely and that's one thing he's got a very nice touch on him but uh, finding Ross again look at these through balls just absolute unbelievable vision tried to go for the chip over the keeper but tried running into the goal and the keeper's just chasing me down unbelievably so I had to go for the shot there and uh 
that's one thing I didn't understand how a keeper was able to chase down Rose because he's got 90 odd pace and uh, the keeper it was, should have been completely finished look at that acceleration from that keeper there but yeah Rose going to slide it into the back of the net here another ball from Rose just going to rainbow flick it over the keeper and tried to do a skill pass but it didn't work but we're still going to get that in the back of the net and uh, celebrate that goal and here's a bit of play from Podolski trying to get the ball uh, his dead A was marking me very sharply here I was thinking about going for the free kick but going to do a roulette and then use his strong foot to pass it into the back of the net sort of tap it along in the ground and and finish it off. And then here, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up with Pablo Hernandez. Going for a bit of skill. Trying to skill up this guy's defense. Uh, I think I was going for a step over there. And he tackled me again. So uh, we're going to use Mr. Podolski. And go for that way I do. is Three and a bit bars. And finish it off. So um, I think, yeah, that, as you can see, just his keeper goes the right direction. Not able to save it, though. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And this is AVJV Gaming. And I'll catch you guys for the next episode.